What's up guys? Welcome back to another installment of Life on the Internet. This is the night before um, I make these drumsticks. So, what we're making is uh, Thai inspired drumsticks with some cool, cool sides that you guys will see later in the video, but I wanna focus on these wings. And today, we're gonna be dry brining these wings. Now, if anyone knows what a dry brine is, please raise your hand to answer the question. Yes, yes, you, yes, you. What's, what's a dry brine? Well, a dry brine is um, <clears throat> seasonings, and the main proponent to a uh, dry brine is salt. So what the salt does is penetrate the skin and infiltrate the meat, tenderizing that meat and seasoning that meat. I recommend for wings this size, drumsticks this size, about a dry brine overnight. So that's what we're doing today. So we have all our seasonings lined up and um, we're gonna go ahead and make that dry rub now. Here we have a tablespoon of turmeric powder, some ground paprika for color. So we're gonna do about a tablespoon of that as well. Some oregano. Celery salt. If you don't know about this, boy, you better get on it. Celery salt and chicken marry. Like they, it's match made in heaven. Couple cracks of black pepper. Chili powder. Some of our onion and garlic powder mix. And we're gonna go ahead and use the rest of this ground ginger. I'd say that's about a half a teaspoon. And a pinch of salt. And we're gonna go ahead and mix that with our fingers. All right. Now we go like so. Just seasoning the chicken. And getting under that skin if you can. It'll help dry out the skin even more. And another fun fact about dry brining is the drier your chicken is, or poultry, or any meat, <laughs> um, and <clears throat> the drier the meat, the crispier the skin. You get a better sear overall. Last step for our dry brine, we're just going to lay these drumsticks on a wire rack and place in the refrigerator for about 24 hours to overnight. And what that's going to do, it's going to dry out the meat, it's going to dry out the skin, like I mentioned earlier, and it's going to create a crispy exterior and juicy center um, due to the brining process. So I'll see you guys later. Um, deuces. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me today. Um, today we have a special meal that we're gonna be preparing. All right, anyways, these are actually Brussels sprouts on the stock. So we're gonna be using Brussels sprouts for a um, couple of meals this week, just because I have so much and um, it looks so cool. So what we're gonna be making today is like a Brussels sprout salad. Um, as you saw yesterday, well, in the last clip, which was last night, I dry brined some Thai and chili inspired drumsticks, in which we're going to be throwing in the oven um, in our next shot. And then we'll get back to this stuff. All right, guys, here are the dry brined wings. They're pretty dry. So we're just going to bake it on this very used baking sheet and baking rack for about 30 to 45 minutes, depending on the hotness of your oven. Oh. 
All right, we're gonna pop these in and set a timer. Okay, great. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna harvest the bigger Brussels first, just because we're using this for a salad and I want it to make, make this as easy as possible when shredding um, the Brussels sprouts. So all you really need is a knife to get at the root twist and cut like such if a bowl here we're just gonna go ahead and throw those in there all right here are our brussels sprouts for our salad we're just gonna get rid of these extra stems as we come upon them and throw them in the trash bowl peel your brussels, like such. All the bigger leaves need to come off. The bigger and then the looser leaves, because those are gonna be hard to shred. mandolin or humble mandolin and we're gonna go ahead and just slice these i have mine at about a fourth of an inch all right also don't throw the end pieces away you can use this for a vegetable stock as well now we rinse we're gonna rinse these pretty well in cold water. Here is Adam. Next, we're going to go ahead and make our dressing for our salad. So that's going to contain olive oil, lime juice, ginger, honey, a little salt and pepper. So we're going to go ahead and do that. The honey. Soy sauce. Olive oil. Plot twist. I think some chili garlic sauce will do farewell in this recipe as well. a little bit lemon juice and we mix as you can see this bell pepper is on the fritz so we're going to go ahead and utilize that before we run out of time We're gonna go for pretty thin slices here. All right, we're gonna add about half. Next for our salad, we have some celery and we have some carrots. Yes, these are on the fritz too, and that's why we're using it. Anything that I don't use, I can make vegetable stock. You're gonna begin by peeling the carrots. And then cut the ugly pieces off the carrot. All 
also good for veggie stock. We're going to go ahead and cut the ends off these celery pieces and go ahead and cut it in half. Thin slices with the potato peeler. We're going to go ahead and add celery to our mixture. Add it to the pile. It is cilantro. Adding it to the salad. Cilantro is cut up, celery, and we've got the carrots, and then the bed of red bell pepper underneath. Roasted almonds. We're going rustic with it. All right, we're adding the almonds to the batch. The crunchy bits. And then the leafy greens. Gonna go ahead and just add it. Yes, my hands are clean. If I'm cooking, my hands are clean. Now what's gonna happen is all of the salts from the soy sauce are going to get sucked in by these veggies and they're gonna take on that flavor and ultimately dehydrate themselves because of that sodium and you'll you'll see and that's what you that's what we want here so excuse yourself all right while this is sitting we're gonna go ahead and put a sweet chili sauce together real quick right before the drumsticks come out and we're gonna go ahead and plate after that catch you there Jump cut complete. We're going to start this sweet chili sauce. Water. To vinegar. Add a couple of dashes of, you guessed it, soy sauce. It's more like a half a tablespoon. We'll let that get to a simmer. All right, we're good simmering. Now we're gonna go ahead and add a bit of sugar. Gonna go ahead and let that do its thing. Meanwhile, we're gonna add some chili garlic sauce to the mix and this is where a good friend cornstarch comes in handy uh, versus then making a uh, roux and if you don't know what a roux is continue watching my channel channel I um, utilize roux quite a bit when it comes to recipes like alfredo or recipes like mac and cheese mainly um, when it comes to that and I make a lot of mac and cheese I'm all about carbs as well so we're gonna add a little bit about this uh, about uh, half a teaspoon half a tablespoon depending on what it, this needs to kind of thicken the mixture up a little bit Oh, hell no. And that is our side salad. All right, real talk. Um, these are our drumsticks. 
and it, I don't know if you can hear that crispy skin and that's what we're looking for they look awesome fun fact is really hard to overcook drumsticks or um, thighs because they're very f high in fat so there you have it simple easy good Thai inspired drumstick recipe with the Brussels sprout salad. Let's go ahead and give it a dip. Whoa. Mmm. That's a hitter. Some of that almond in there. Come on, little buddy. Yeah. Mm hmm.